Welcome back Drink Stuff fans. Here at Drink Stuff we're all about giving you drinks and cocktail inspiration to help you make and create better drinks at home or in your pubs and bars. In today's video I'm going to have a little waffle about cocktail bitters because that is a question I get a lot so I know uh, a lot of you may watching this will be thinking uh, kind of the same as what people ask me. So cocktail bitters. Let's uh, let's kind of dispel the first myth straight away. If you're in the UK I don't know how this would translate. IPA this would translate into the US and play all around the world as well but in the UK these are nothing Nothing like IPA. They're nothing like your favourite handful that you get in your local pub, your pint of bitter. They are nothing even remotely in the same ballpark. These are cocktail bitters. Now, before I go any further, this is not something that we sell out drink stuff purely because they are alcoholic. Most bitters, 90% of bitters, are alcoholic. So, drink stuff uh, kind of sell everything else apart from booze for your cocktails, glasses, cocktail shakers, um, syrups, purees, all that kind of stuff. So um, you won't be able to find these on drink stuff but you can quite find these all over the internet and quite a lot of um, sort of high street supermarkets in the UK will sell these. So I've got a selection here of um, of, of bitters. Uh, if you watch my other channel you'll know the brand that I use quite a lot but I'm not here to talk about uh, brands in specific. I'm kind of here to tell you about their purpose and what they actually are. So let's put this the first thing. What are bitters? Bitters are essentially very alcoholic uh, flavour enhancers for your cocktails. They come in lots of different flavours which I'll talk through in a couple of minutes um, but to kind of break it down into simpler terms, uh, chefs have salt and pepper to bring out flavours in their uh, in their in their food. We have cocktail like salt. There we go. We as bartenders have bitters, and that will help accentuate and bring out different flavours or give different twists uh, in drinks and cocktails. And that's what they're there for. The big famous one is Angostura bitters. Uh, most I kind of well, I wouldn't say most households. A lot of households have got a bottle of this without actually knowing what to do with them. Most pubs in the UK will have a bottle of this, and it will have been sitting there for is six months to two years if not longer um, because purely um, pub staff, bar staff in that sense don't really know what they're kind of doing. They're not they're for cocktails but also uh, for soft drinks. When I first started uh, bartending in the mid 90s uh, one of the big things I had was like a kind of a rock shandy um, and this is kind of sort of translated into different things across the age of time, but essentially lime, uh, ginger, and Angostura bitters. It was a non-alcoholic soft drink. Um, but Moscow Mules and Dark and Stormies, they are the kind of big, well-renowned uh, for Angostura bitters, and a lot of um, sort of rum and tiki cocktails. Let's just quite t talk about rum cocktails, for instance, especially rum punches. One part sour, two parts sweet, three parts strong, four parts weak, and a dash of spice to make it nice. They kind of like can be your spice or cinnamon or nutmeg or things like that. So that's kind of what their use is on. Now, flavour bitters. Up until probably 10 years ago, maybe, maybe even closer to 2000, to be honest, I've kind of lost track of time. The only kind of bitters that you would have had or seen is Angostura bitters. Uh, Payshord have been around a very, very long time. Uh, so have uh, Fee Brothers, to be fair. Um, but Angostura are the big favourite ones. They're the kind of ones that they, um, you know, will most wholesalers, most suppliers will sell them. As I say, most supermarkets in the UK now sell those as well. Um, so they're quite easy to get hold of once people understand what they are. Uh, but if you go online, actually now, in, especially in the UK, there are hundreds of different uh, flavours, possibly even kind of, I don't know, 50 brands or so of bitters. Um, so they all have different purposes. Now, bitters can go into cocktails. Uh, for instance, old fashions, uh, sours like an amaretto sour, whiskey sour, things like that. You would put kind of dashes in your cocktails. However, there's another use uh, for bitters. Uh, before I go on to flavours, uh, kind of what's out there, and start off with the aromatic and things like that as well, kind of talk you through them. Uh, it's another use for bitters as well that I love to champion, and I think this is absolutely superb. And I'll kind of demonstrate with uh, this, um, this glass because I'm not using this. So what I love to do with bitters is, uh, and I've got, I'll use some of these off the back here, 
Uh, I'll take these ones. I'll give a shout out to these ones. Uh, pineapple and star anise bitters. When I'm making a daiquiri, for instance, uh, rum, lime, sugar, plain daiquiri may be flipping, flipping up with like a different rum or something like that. The thing I love to do is take these bitters, pineapple and star anise, and actually spritz the glass. I've kind of replaced the little pipettes on the top with little spritzers. And what I'll do is I'll have about, we'll get that on a close up hopefully, there we go, maybe three spritzes of pineapple and star anise bitters. Oh, that's just magical, it's absolutely magical. I love it so much. And that'll kind of add just that tiny bit of sort of slight taste variation into my cocktail and just give that a thing. The other thing I love to do as well is uh, I've just done a cocktail about the um, Cosmopolitan, how to flame orange zest. Well, if I've got a Cosmopolitan in my glass, instead of if I'm on events or things like that, the thing I love to do, I've got my orange bitters here, pretty much the same as Angostura, but the, once the cocktail's in there, I will spritz, so I've got my Cosmo on there, I'll spritz the orange bitters on top of the cocktail to give that there. The other thing, um, I'm talking through the flavours now, aren't I? Espresso martini, for instance, I've got chocolate bitters and I'll do exactly the same thing, chocolate bitters on top. So that's my use for them. However, a lot of these will go into cocktails. So um, let, let's just talk out about the kind of uh, two or three, if I've got more, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Is that one? No. So aromatic bitters, they are the first kind of style of bitters. Aromatic bitters are essentially a bunch of herbs and spices uh, distilled uh, and then blended together to create a secret formula. Angostura is a secret formula of herbs and spices. No one knows it. Um, it's very strong and 44.7% 44.7% ABV. I don't know what pay shorts are. I've never looked at that. 35% pay shorts. Jerry Thomas bitters are 30% ABV. And uh, Ms. Betters are 40% ABV. So you can kind of see they are quite alcoholic in bitters. And these are your aromatics, herbs, and spices. They are kind of your base go to bitters. Okay, that's the ones, whichever brand you, fan, uh, you prefer, um, they're kind of what you stock. I will say I, I use uh, Ms. Betters bitters aromatic instead of uh, Angostura quite a lot. But actually, I, you can't really compare Peychaud's to Angostura in that sense because they give very different kind of flavours. You can't really compare Jerry Thomas in, in essence, but they are Angostura, they are aromatic bitters. Then we kind of get onto the flavours, okay? So Angostura now have got an orange and they have just, I say just released, they've now got chocolate bitters in there as well because chocolate is a big uh, bitter sort of category. Uh, we'll go on to, I'll talk about uh, bitterments in a sec, we'll talk about into Fee Brothers. I've got, I've got four or five more actually, they're kind of down there, but these are the kind of flavour ones that I use quite a lot, and these aren't as strong, if I remember rightly, I think these are a little bit weaker. If, yeah, 12% on the plum, 4.8 on the cherry, 45.9 uh, on the on the old lemon, and the rhubarb has uh, rubbed off. Have I got another bottle of rhubarb? I haven't got, I don't know about the rhubarb. I couldn't tell you because it's rubbed off because they're kind of old bottles. So we've got very different there. And again, they do the same thing. They'll just kind of give like rhubarb bitters in sort of fresh summer cocktails, cherry bitters, cherry bitters in an old fashioned, you know, this is all the kind of stuff you can do with them. Lemon bitters in a kind of a daiquiri or things like that. You know, it's, it's all about, there's no hard and fast rule. It's all about your imagination. And the difference between like two or three dashes of this, um, take the daiquiri for instance, if I just, what I've, did with that and this pineapple and star anise bitters, the difference between a couple of spritzes, the pineapple and star anise, and a plain daiquiri is absolutely phenomenal. And again, if you're in pubs and bars, it's a great way to put your own little twists on cocktails. So we've got Fee Brothers there. And Fee Brothers tend to be the cheaper ones, um, seven to 10 pounds maybe. Um, Angostura, probably about 12 pounds these days, maybe slightly more expensive. Um, what else, Peychaud, I don't know, because I haven't bought that for ages. Bitterman, but we're gonna get into the more expensive ones now. Uh, Bitterman's, let's go, the two I use quite a lot for Bitterman's, these are phenomenal tiki bitters. So we've got um, obviously kind of those uh, sort of uh, West Indian um, flavors in there, but, um, cinnamon, allspice, uh, cloves, nutmeg, these are brilliant for rum cocktails, and I can't find a little spritz um, thingy that fits on top of there actually, pipette, so I use them with pipette. And we've got burlesque bitters here from the same guys, and I have to, I can never remember what goes in these. Um, it's acai, if I remember. Where is it? Yeah, uh, hibiscus, acai, 
uh, and long pepper. So they're kind of like sweet and spicy in there. And then my brand, I won't get them all off from here, but just kind of, just to give you some idea of the different flavor combos we've got going on. Uh, black pepper and cardamom, orange tree, Mount Fuji, which is white peach, chrysanthemum, burdock, and so dandelion and burdock, burdock and yuzu. Uh, chocolate, sumac and kiwi. I've got tonic bitters, cucumber bitters, smoke and oak bitters. So uh, again, I've got another brand down here. I think these are, are these the woods ones? Oh, these are nut bitters, uh, but the same brand, Bitter Truth, do um, smoky bitters and wood bitters as well. Kind of to give you that, if you haven't got, like I don't like, for instance, smoky whiskies like Laphroaig. I can't handle, and Lagavulin, I can't ha handle smoke, those smoky peaky whiskies. Pe kind of insane, smoky peaty whiskies. But uh, I kind of do sort of like the smoke element. Those bitters, spritzes, or in the cocktail will kind of give you that smokiness without the peatiness for the whiskey if you want to use a bourbon or rye or something like that. Um, grapefruit bitters, cola bi uh, bitters, so Coke, obviously, cola bitters in there. Uh, strawberry, green strawberry and maquan, maquan. One is uh, pepper, Asian pepper. Uh, wormwood, again, wormwood is kind of the basic ingredient for uh, absinthe, so you kind of got that. Uh, and lime leaf up there as well. So as I say, that is just a small cross section of bitters. There are hundreds out there. There is no, I'll repeat it again, there is no hard and fast rule with bitters. I would say have one aromatic in your collection, or maybe two, um, because as I say, you cannot compare, you can't compare, they're all, very different flavors, um, but they are kind of herbs and spices, so kind of where the aromatic comes from. Um, but then just let your imagination run wild. They were alcoholic, they will keep for ages and ages and ages. And just have a little play. If an old fashioned is your favorite drink, uh, maybe swap it up with some orange bitters, maybe use some cherry bitters, maybe use some smoke bitters, maybe use some lemon bitters in an old fashioned. It is up to you, but have some fun. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you smash that like button. That'll help us reach more people. If you hated it, give us a thumbs down. Let me know. I did, you know, if you don't like it, if I've waffled too much, fair dues. Um, but if you have loved it and you want to see more of our content, make sure you subscribe as well. And that way you'll get notified every time a new video goes live. And that's it for this one. I will see you in the very next video.